guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina Finn here. Hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. This is my cousin. Today we're getting into the office, y'all. Heading into season, well, in season five, episode seven. Also, Dee's birthday is tomorrow, turning to dirty 30. And if you would like to send her something. Thank you guys to those that have sent below. something on my Amazon wish list. I'm not going to say no names because I know some people don't like their name out there. But thank you. Yes, yes. So links down below if you'd like to send her a little something, something or, you know. And to the person list. that sent me that coffee, you know who you are. I had it this morning. Amazing. In Japan, you must always commit suicide. Always wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Not the white in the back writing it. Did you hear what he said? Did you catch the last one? It's I don't. polite to wash your hands after using the bathroom. In Italy. Isn't that... I mean, I, I would think that rule applies to everywhere. But... but Michael, only in Italy. For Michael, it's only in Italy because I would think everybody should be washing their hands after going to the bathroom. Where are you going? To Canada. Where is Canada? It? Canada. And I have always been intrigued by all things international. Mm -hmm. Meredith, I would like you to pretend that you are from Abu Dhabi. You are now sexy in your culture. Really? <laughs> That, he make my head itch. I mean, he, he is kind of funny when you get to. Now that I've been in enough seasons of him now, now I understand his humor, and I can I can deal with Michael now. Is it humor? It's, I don't think he dark. knows his humor. It's very messed up. I think I it's messed think up. We look at it as humor, but I think he thinks like this is actual like knowledge to people. It's messed up, but I mean it's humor. <laughs> is Pam coming back? Six point five days. Oh, it's close. Oh. One more week. Right and everyone here has just been so excited for me and involved. And I have my per diem. I already know what I'm going to spend this on. Fifty whole dollars. On per diem. I, you know what? I can relate to that. Wow. Because I remember my job, our per diem was trash. Like, for lunch, they gave us, like, 15 bucks. That's good. For going out of town, though. That's, um, like. For and, the day? And dinner was 30 bucks. Wilburn, I feel like that's great. He get a whole 50. I got 45. For the day, though. But you have 15 for lunch, 30 for... 45. I'm still underneath Michael. I know. But, but if we're being... But he only has that for one day. Realistically, do you know, you can buy so many good things with $15 for lunch and such great things for $30 yeah. in dinner time. Because, like, a person, like... Can, sadly, where we were sitting on the You just town, can't tip. It wasn't a lot of options. But you just can't tip. That's the only bad there, part with your limit. You couldn't tip. But what I was going to lean to is... I think Michael's gonna get jealous because all the attention is on Jim and he's leaving. Everybody should be focused on him. I'm going to Canada. And everybody's focused on Jim and Pam coming back. So some jealousy here is about to happen. Do we have any Canada subscribers or viewers? I heard Canada is beautiful. When I look at it on TVs and like shows and um, like pictures it looks and very stuff, nice. it looks exactly. It looks I didn't even know they had an accent. That's not their accent. I'm just saying, like, you know, Canadians have an accent? I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Learn from South Park. Honestly, don't even know what their accent is. I Turn just know they have one. They all they do is laugh. I was happy to send Michael on this trip. He's been he feeling pretty down, and it's pretty tough to find somebody who wants to go up to Winnipeg. Actually, better than a five-star hotel because you get a big cushy seat. I think I am going to have a fillet with mushroom sauce. Okay. And in terms of nightlife, when you get there, just ask the concierge. I don't wear that puppy right up on the breastbone like a bra. No, I don't want to wear a bra. Okay, where's my translator? Ici, monsieur. Translation, good. goodbye, my petite fiance. I will try to get other dudes laid. Yeah, baby. There we Wait, go. Wait, he's taking a lot of people. Yeah. It's just awesome. a van. It's not just a van. Welcome to Cribs, the business class edition. Really? Michael G. Scott rolling like a peon. Take a sip of that. Mm -hmm. like a, you want no, one like, of your own? I can hook you up. I'm sorry, you'll need to keep moving. Yes, uh, this is Beth. We need so to keep the aisle clear. Yes. You, oh. oh. Get back. Get All back. Right. I have a personal DVD player and 20 movies. And they brought one too. Could you have picked something stinkier to bring on a plane? <laughs> um, I'd like to see a menu, please. Oh, I'm sorry. There are no meals. <laughs> That's so bad. He didn't disrespect the Oscar. How are you going to get the sound? Well, that's crazy. That's, I didn't know that. So if it's less than two hours, there's no meals. I'm that's crazy. I mean, I'm so hungry, but okay. You better go back to Oscar? I mean, you know what? That's Give me that egg salad. I'm going to use my complimentary blindfold. Can't see because I am in a... It's going to be close quarters. going to be a lot of tension. 
Ryan. Oh! Get you some. I'm Go in Kelly. a healthy relationship now. So I'm not gonna flaunt it. I'm not gonna hurt Is him. What? Very sweet. Oh my god, I want to see their rooms. Ah! Oh my god. Where the action is, my okay. friend. Where's the concierge? Follow my bros here. Wow. <laughs> what about a nice sushi place? You can take the taxi, and the number is right there. Where might you find yourself on a Winnipeg night like tonight? A concierge is the Winnipeg equivalent of a geisha. And when you meet one, it is intoxicating. Believe this. She can't go home. Yeah. What? I thought you were good at Flash. I was. Okay, okay, it's no big deal. So you're not a computer geek. Okay. That means another 12 weeks. It's not about me. 12. I mean, this is your dream. Mm. And you come back, you come back the right way, mm. right? Uh, my cell battery's low, so I have to let you go. That's a tough situation. It's sad. That's a tough situation. Yes, but I mean, I'm with Jim though. I mean, I mean, I know it hurts, but I mean, you let her fulfill her dream. You know, you gotta. But it's going back to what his friend said. The friend that that he heard on. Well, the he speaker. said it wasn't gonna be yeah three months. You can't. Yeah, and then everybody thinks she's coming back in a week, and he's gonna be like, psych. Atti he, I mean, attitude to it. But in 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 going into a marriage, if he has to make his decision, because if he doesn't, he will never. It'll it be in. for the greater good. Yeah, he won't. Hit <laughs> her end of it in his marriage. He gonna hear you never let me fulfill my dream. You never let me go and do what I need to do. Exactly. So he gotta do this, Jim. Gotta do this. Look at the couple right in her face. I'm probably gonna leave after one drink. Excuse yeah, us. with a hot slab of Canadian bacon <clears throat> in your hand. Uh, Oscar Martinez. Nice to meet you. Oscar. Works in accounting. <laughs> this, you look how you say radiant tonight. Madame et monsieur. Oh, thank you. Those two dudes are as good as naked. You don't. Oh, it's Dandy Dale and Foppy McGee over there. Oh. You he will thank me. Speak it for himself. Don't do this. Well, how do you like these apples? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I like that it. That was such a good I like one. That. I like I'm going to do that to our kids. You like apples? Do you guys like apples? Well, how do you like these apples? They're thinking he is. Is he your boyfriend or something? No. no. Leave us alone, right? Don't. Dude, you struck out. They're totally stuck up. Here, drink up. Everything is closed. Dude. You need to get some dry cleaning done. 12 o'clock. Stroll Cleaners on St. James Place is the only place that is open on that day. It's just that I've sat next to Angela for a very long, very long time. What do you see in Angela? What do I see in Angela? I want to know. She is teaching me to be a better person, and I can't wait to have sex with her. Where are they going? I was like, I don't know what we're waiting for. Andy, something is wrong with that woman. Call her. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. No, call her. No, call her. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What is wrong with you? Are you drunk? No. This is Annie Bernard. I know who this is. Somebody there? Are you drunk? I have a need. I want to see you naked. Do you want to get some breakfast or something? What happened? That don't make sense. That was just naked. And then she gets to the thing and says she's tired? Wait, what is going on? Did There's a lot going on in this episode. Did she do it and boot it? Like he didn't get to stay? Oh, maybe y'all didn't think of that. That's probably what you're, you're right. You're right. I was thinking Did that. He, he I was tell? thinking he never got to go in. I mean, it's possible, but you might shirt. be right though. They might have gotten in, and she like, you know, okay, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael, just leave. You got something? Get on out of there. We don't know yet. Oh, I mean, I oh wait, wanted, wait. The door. He wanted right more. Oh, oh dang. They know. They know. He said something. How does everyone know already? Do the I, building. The shadows listen. coming from two different directions. Right. That's not an office building in the Andromeda Galaxy. Right. Hey, um. Thanks for trying to hook me up. You kidding me? <laughs> Where's Michael? I can't believe we called her up. Told you. I'm talking about Angela. I can't believe we called her up last night. That was real? Okay. So bad. Good morning, Michael. Are you ready for the meeting? This can't happen again. This has Behind to happen the... again. Daryl can't happen again. I already typed out a text message for you. All you have to do is press send. They, this is literally another Angela Dwight and Andy situation. It's a lot. Situation. It's, so, it's so many couples going on in this office. Literally, this is like them number two. I'm, wow. I'm trying to. I'm trying to process the whole behind the <laughs> soda machine. Wilburn, they just. It's not behind. It's on the side of it. There's With a, a plant. What if somebody walked in there? Um, I highly doubt anybody would have. I mean, that's the whole break room. People come in and out of there all day. Okay. Oh. He says it's cool. Didn't you two date for like a long time? <laughs> this is like a fairy tale. <laughs> Look at him. 
What are you doing? Feel cared for here. They feel respected, are treated like human beings. Mm. Right Thanks left. for that, Jamal. I get to kiss her forehead. I had a good time, Jen. Wingman for life. Bro yeah. hug. Hey, I just heard you guys made the sale. Yeah, we locked them up for two years. Actually, the trip sucked. Excuse me? It was a bad trip. What I did not the like girl. the trip. And okay. business class, which was basically just coach. Hear the hotel was bad. Oh, and thanks for the tip on the concierge. You listen to me. Oh. Why do you send her away? That was a sucky thing to Michael. do, man. That was a really sucky thing to do. Because I could be making more money as a doctor or a professional athlete. Did it, man. Day one. Congrats. Oh, you ho. I'm coming back the wrong way. Stop smiling. I really didn't like it. But it is not because I missed you. I just really wanted to come home. Got it. I missed you. I missed you too. Hey, Dwight's about to come mess it up. I'm glad I paused when I did because I don't got time oh for Dwight. Oh my god. I don't got Don't mess up this beautiful sunset he is, moment. He Do you is. see the way the sun is hitting off the it's, building? It's off the building right now. It actually and is Dwight off the building. And Dwight is about to mess up this whole nice setting right now. This is like pina colada weather and he's coming in bringing in the storm. Like, come on, Dwight. Go. Here we go. I need you to make five copies of these. I'm not going inside. She's back. Welcome back. Exactly. I I realized that for whatever reason I just couldn't do better than Kelly. That, he said he couldn't do better. Oh, but that's not a compliment though. Like, oh, I just realized I couldn't do better than you, so I'm gonna settle. That's like settling. Oh, um, that's a compliment. No, that's that's settling <laughs> at that point. Like, oh, I realized I couldn't do better gosh. than you, so I'm gonna settle for you because I can't get nothing else. Episode was. It was all over the place. And very it, much. It was a lot going on. And Michael and Mrs. Holly. Would you, would you, and I'm asking you guys too, would you guys want Andy as your wingman? No. Why? I mean, he's not bad. I, I mean, he I has would. a lot of confidence to go over there, you know, and then wing it. You know, he, no, he's not a bad wingman. You know, I could take him as a wingman. Because he's he's down for the cause. He's down to go over there and, Ooh, and make it. Oh, I was going to say, would you guys want yeah, I would. Andy I take my, I, I re I reinstate my answer. Man. Let us know down yes. below in the comment section. Also, let us know what you guys thought about this episode down below. And I'm curious, is Holly coming back? She Are like, we done with Jan? Is uh, Astrid gone? I hope so. Hmm. Now, where'd Daryl go? Now, now that's was a mystery. On the mission. Now that's a mystery where Daryl go. I think he wanted to fight back. Like, oh, I'm going to fight for you, Kelly. Well, he not, he and Daryl's like, you can have her. I'm done. You say it to me, This brother. office has too many relationships. There's a lot of drama going on. Too much. Is this really how, like, offices work? Because... Mm. If you have a husband or wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend that works in the office, I you should check on them. But until next time, guys, and don't forget, I do have a Patreon for four episodes if you guys want to head that way or that way. Until next time, guys. Or, what well, really, that way. But toodles.